Today in the Detail Garage, we're going to show you guys all of the options that you have to dry any car, truck, motorcycle, and RV. Now, after you wash the vehicle, it's important to dry it properly to make sure you get the best shine and you don't have any water spots over the car. So it's good to use the right products and the right techniques to dry your vehicle and always get the best results. Now, we're going to talk about all the different towels, the different tools, and even water blades that you can use to dry your vehicle, and we'll show you the differences on how they all work. So let's start with the basic, most easiest way to dry any type of vehicle, and that's going to be microfiber drying towels. Now, microfiber drying towels are the most basic way to dry any type of vehicle. They pick up the water, and they can be used a few different ways. Now, we're going to be working with the big orange drying towel by Chemical Guys. This is a huge drying towel. It has two sides and it's silk lined. So it has one side that's extra long and also has silk lining to protect from scratches and then another side that's short. Now microfiber drying towels are usually a lot bigger than a traditional microfiber drying towel. You can see this one's pretty big and that means they can dry a whole vehicle without being wrung out. So let's show you guys how to use the microfiber drying towel. Now we have a wet hood right here. We're going to be doing all the demonstrations on a hood so we can re-wet it and show you how to do it quickly and easily. Now to use microfiber drying towel, all you do is fold it in half and then you gently take the drying towel and drag it gently on the surface. And then we're going to dry up all the water and pick it up quickly and easily into the microfiber towel. Now also, if you want to dry the, micro, uh, the surface with a microfiber towel, you can also place it down and do what's called a blotting. So you can take the microfiber towel down, blot it on the surface, and then pick it up and you've already picked up all the water. That's a real easy method to use to dry any type of surface. So we can take it, press the towel onto the surface, and it picks up all the dirt or all the water, any type of residual residue on the surface. Now with microfiber drying towels, you can also use a drying aid like afterwash. Now afterwash is designed to push off all the water. So if we take it and spray it in the area over here, we spray it on the surface and it pushes away all the water. Then we can take our microfiber drying towel and gently swipe the surface and remove any type of water. Now microfiber drying towels are the easiest and safest way to dry any vehicle. You're not going to get any scratches because the microfiber is super soft and it's not going to harm the surface. So here at Chemical Guys, we always recommend to dry with a microfiber drying towel. Now even though it's going to take a little bit longer than any of our other methods, it's going to be the safest and you're going to make sure that your vehicle stays looking good. Now I'm going to re-wet the hood and then we're going to talk about waffle weave microfiber drying towels. Now the next way to dry your vehicle is called waffle weave drying towels. Now this is my preferred way to dry any vehicle because waffle weave is as soft as microfiber but it absorbs up to 500% more. Now waffle weave drying towels are called that because they have a lot of different little squares built into the towel itself. Now all these little tiny almost waffle shaped squares actually absorb water and then they go ahead and puff up. Now you can dry an entire SUV or even two or three SUVs with this one towel without wringing it out. It doesn't drip any water because it holds so much. Now this is our big SUV waffle weave towel. This is what I use to dry my Mustang, my BMW, or any type of off-road truck I'm detailing. It's super big. As you can see, it's very big and even has pockets on the back. Now these pockets actually allow you to fit your hand inside so you can dry any SUV or bigger vehicle without dropping the towel. That's a very important key. So we're gonna show you how to use the waffle weave drying towel. So what I like to do is I like to fold the waffle weave drying towel in half so I have the most contact area to pick up water. And then I can take my waffle weave drying towel and just drag it on the surface and it instantly picks up the water like that. Now our surface is instantly dry because we can dry it that quick. Now you can also use a drying aid like Afterwash, which is going to push off the water and it's also going to give more shine. So you notice I'll spray it over here. It started to push off the water a little bit. We only need one or two sprays. And then I'm going to take my waffle weed drying towel and just gently glide and we pick up all the water just like that. Now if you want, you can also take the waffle weed drying towel, place it on the surface and then you can blot it pick it up and that way you picked up the water as well. Now waffle weave is super absorbent. It's great for glass, it's great for wheels, and it's my favorite towel to dry any type of vehicle. So if you're looking to dry a big vehicle or you're looking to do a little bit faster than traditional microfiber, this is really the towel for you. It's one of the best drying aids that we offer. Now we're going to show you the next thing, which is going to be a traditional chamois type drying towel. So the next way to dry your vehicle is one of the oldest ways to dry, and that's going to be the traditional chamois. Now this is a water sprite chamois that we sell on our website, and it's one of the oldest types of ways to dry your vehicle. So let's open it up and show you how to use it.
Now the water sprite chamois is actually a synthetic leather. Now leather chamois have been around for like 100 years, but a synthetic leather chamois actually absorbs the water a lot better and faster than any other towel. Now this thing just sucks water up instantly. And there's a couple pluses and downsides to using a chamois. First of all, this dries a vehicle really quickly. I mean, it sucks up water like that. Uh, but one of the downsides of this chamois is that it has to be wet to work. So I can't actually take this chamois and dry the vehicle with it dry. It could scratch the vehicle. It doesn't have enough lubrication. So I need to actually wet the chamois first. Now this chamois is pretty big. It's a real big size. It's going to dry any vehicle. But I have a bucket of water right here. So I'm going to stick it in the water and then I'm going to wring it out to show you how it activates and starts drying. So I'm going to take my chamois, dip it in the water. And once the chamois is wet like that, you can see how much water it holds. Now I'm going to wring out the chamois to show you exactly how, how much it holds. There we go. And as you can see, this thing holds a lot of water. But what you want to do before you use it is you want to wet it in a sink or a bucket and wring it out as best you can and then we're ready to dry. Now to use the chamois, what I like to do is I like to fold it in half like a microfiber drying towel. And then I like to just gently drag it across the surface. There we go. And you can see it easily just picks up any type of water and any type of water spots and leaves a nice smooth surface. And once you're done drying the vehicle, you could take your chamois roll it up and then go ahead and wring it out and all the water that you had will come right out of the chamois. Now one thing you got to know about the chamois is that when you're done with it you have to rinse it out with warm water. You can't wash this in a washing machine and you don't want to use any soap with this. You want to go ahead and rinse it out with warm or hot water and then hang dry. Now this chamois is actually going to dry to a more hard material. And that will, that's why I kind of prefer the microfiber drying towel as well. Now, because this isn't microfiber, there is a higher percentage that you will scratch the surface of the vehicle. That's why I always choose to prefer microfiber drying towels. But if you're drying huge vehicles or fleets or vans or airplanes, this is a real great tool for you. And it's going to help you dry the vehicle a lot faster than a regular microfiber towel. Now, all these options are open to give you more choices on how to dry the vehicle. And it's all personal preference, but they're still going to go ahead and make maintain the vehicle and make it look its best. Now since you only wash this with warm water, it's real easy to maintain the waffle weave drying towel and the regular microfiber drying towel you wash with traditional microfiber detergent. So now we're going to talk about some more tools that you can use to dry the vehicle that aren't towels. So we're going to re-wet the hood and then we're going to show you all those cool tools. So our next tool is called a water blade or a water squeegee. Now these are a really cool way to dry any vehicle and it does it extremely fast. So if you're doing vans or trucks or real big vehicles, this is going to be a great tool for you. Now this isn't a traditional water squeegee or water blade that you use to dry windows or industrial equipment. This is a specific water blade designed for paint and automotive use. Now this water blade actually features a T right down the middle. So you can actually swipe either way and you're going to get great removal of all your water. Now this is also a special blended synthetic almost a gel type material and this flexes to every single contour of the vehicle. Now a couple things you want to know about using the squeegee. The surface has to be 100% clean before using it. If any rock or any type of piece of dirt is on the surface and you drag the uh, water blade over the surface, it's going to cause a scratch. So make sure your vehicle is 100% washed before you use the water blade. Now to use the water blade, all you got to do is take the surface, you gently just swipe the water blade right over the paint and you can see it pulls off the water instantly. There you go. Now I don't have to put any pressure. I just easily pull the blade right over the surface and it pulls all the water off. Now as you can see even on this area where there is a, uh, a ridge I can still pull off all the water as well. Now this is a great way to dry any vehicle. Plus I can go left, I can go right, it doesn't matter because the water blade easily knocks off all the water. Now what I usually like to do after I use the water blade is I like to come back with a microfiber towel and remove any light spots that I have on there because the water blade might leave a streak or two. Now that's real easy because I always go with a 
uh, detail spray or any type of spray sealant after I'm done to make sure I protect the surface. The water blade's super great if you're doing big surfaces or any type of vehicle and you want to get it dried real quick without any water spots. So this is a great option for you. So let's talk about some more cool tools that you plug into the wall to dry your vehicle. Let's show them out. So the next way to dry the vehicle is going to be a dryer. Now you can purchase a dryer to help you dry all the cracks and the vents in the vehicle, but you can easily dry the whole vehicle as well. Now we're going to show you two different types of dryers that we sell here at Chemical Guys. Now this one is a basic dryer that we sell and it's the best price dryer. Now this one is actually fully adjustable. This is called the Jet Speed Dryer. Now the Jet Speed Dryer uses a big centrifugal fan that pulls in air from this inlet right here and pushes it out the tip. Now this thing blows real strong air and one of the cool things I like about it is its tip. The tip is removable and it's also rubber so it flexes and it doesn't harm the paint. So if you accidentally bump it on the surface or you're drying wheels, it's not going to harm and it's not going to scratch the surface. So let's go ahead and dry some vehicles. Now this blower actually has a fully adjustable dial so I can get it real light or I can get it high speed to make sure I dry the whole vehicle. Now it also has a locking button on the side and a trigger. So once I pull the trigger, it starts blowing and it's real strong. I'm going to show you how strong it is to blow all the water right off this hood to show you how it pushes away all the water. So let's go ahead and show you. So as you can see, this blower is very strong and pushes off all the water quickly and easily. And this is a great blower to use on motorcycles. So if you're detailing a bike or a motorcycle, there's a lot of cracks that you want to push the water out. This is going to be great for you. So if you want to check it out, go to our website. You can check out the VR6 blower. Now I'm going to show you one last drying tool. It's one of my favorite to dry any vehicle super fast. So our last tool that we're going to show you on how to dry any vehicle is going to be the Air Force Master Blaster Sidekick. Now the Blaster Sidekick is a great way to dry any vehicle. It's a blower just like the VR6 blower, but it's built right here in the USA using a heated coil by Metro. So what happens is, is there's a filter right at the bottom that sucks in air, passes through a heating coil, and it comes out a little bit warm. So if you're drying a motorcycle or any type of smaller car with a lot of cracks, the hot air is going to evaporate the water and reduce water spots. Now this thing also has a rubberized tip and it has a super heavy duty switch. And when this thing's on, man, you know it's on and it's ready to go. Now this is a great blower for any type of vehicle and I'll show you exactly how it works. Now Metro also makes another blaster called the Air Force Master Blaster and this thing is huge and has eight horsepower. Now that's designed for professionals. You can check it out on our website. But if you're just looking to get the job done the easiest and basic way, this is going to get the job done. So let's show you how strong it is to blow the water off this hood. So now you've seen a lot of different ways to dry your vehicle. Now drying your vehicle is important and all of these different tools are designed to help you dry your vehicle in a better and faster way. Now drying your vehicle is all personal preference. So if you like waffle weave or you like regular microfiber or if you like drying tools or water blades, pick what's right for you because every job is going to require a special tool to get the job done. Now all these cool products are available right now on our website chemicalguys.com where you can pick them up get it to your door and get your car ready and looking great. Now if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We make these videos just for you guys to put out all the information to help your car look the best. If you want to check out more videos that we have, click that subscribe button. It's right there at the bottom to make sure you get all of our 600 plus videos on how to detail anything from cool motorcycles all the way up to Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Well, hopefully we'll see you next time right here in the detail garage. Always remember to have fun, stay clean and keep on detailing. world.
So if you're in your limousine, you can recline it back. And I recline it back a little bit so I can get in a little bit uh, tighter spot, but make sure that I clean the surface just right. Now I'm going to take my microfiber towel 